Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Northside Plow with Pop One Podcast here with another feature match from our locals at Pandas Paradise in Gulfport, Mississippi. I'm going to actually be on the feature match today. I'm playing my friend Kid. He is playing the new Rob Lucci, and I am playing good old Anel, baby. Um, yeah, that's the deck that I've been playing for a long time, especially since it came out in OPO5. I really enjoy it. I play this game for fun. I go out and do other things with it, but the majority of it is me having fun, and I think yellow is just the most fun deck, so I still play it. Um, and Kid is a really good player, too. He's one of our best players at Locals, and he's always doing something, always bringing the spice, and he brought Lucci out. Um, he's really good at Lucci. I think he's, I think he's really good, so, um... Yeah, this is our match. I chose to go second. I think I won the dice roll. Yeah, I chose to go second. We're just getting set up here. And while we're watching the first place, I want to talk to you guys about Dueling Guard. Dueling Guard is your one-stop shop for binders, deck boxes, and sleeves coming soon. Uh, check them out at DuelingGuard.com. Use code POP1 at your checkout for a 5% discount. It definitely helps out the channel. Yeah, it's just a great spot. I use all their items, and the team does too. So, shout out Dueling Guard. Alright, he swung 5. I took... And he dropped the stage. So I know when you drop the stage, it's a scary situation. Um, the stage just helps out so much in this in this uh, game. Um, so we'll see what we do. I haven't watched this match since we did it. And I'm recording it almost a week later. So it's like my other ones kind of where I'm going in blind. I swung big at life. I just didn't have anything to play. I forgot what my hand was. I know it was kind of atrocious. But it's a no, you know, a lot of the times we don't see stuff until uh, our 6 non turn and whatnot. So let's see what kid has in hand. Chooses a swing five, does leader ability. I took life, no trigger. And I think my life was just terrible this whole game. Plays the blocker Sabo. Draw two, trash two. Alright, I'm at the two life. Going into six dawn. Sabo can't be KO'd by effects. He's under Sabo effect. And my mind state here is just like, okay, whatever I put down, he's obviously going to get rid of. I don't even know what I played. I know Anel Alucci, I need to go aggressive as possible. He countered out of that, and I put a Frankie down just to have a body. Maybe give him a little... My mind state was like, okay, let's go ahead and let him waste removal stuff or whatever, you know. It's a weird matchup. Plays a span dime. Another span dime searching gets the Tempest Kick, sending a gecko and a brook to grave. He's still at five, Don. He's gonna rest the stage, hit Frankie. Bring him down to two. down to one swings I take the life 
thing I'm thinking on trigger. Oh, oh yeah, that was that was pretty good. The uh, Onami on the Sabo on her trigger, she lets you uh, KO a five cost. And he plays the Kaku and gets rid of my Frankie, which you know I, you know I knew he was gonna do that, but what do you do? I really don't remember what was in my hand. Um, we're about to find out though. I think I'm at eight dawn, one life. Alright, I swing six, um, he counters out, and then drop the Lin Lin, I guess that's, uh, that was okay. Trash is a life, so three to one. So his main goal now is to get rid of that Lin Lin. Um, she's pretty big. You don't want that going into another turn. Um, he does the Tempest Kick, which is kind of like the Great Eruption. You know, it's not too far from it. It's actually really good that Great Eruption's gone because uh, those cards together would be, this deck would be insane. It's already insane. So he's doing Luchi things, doing, you know, what they do and just knocking her cost down so that they can just get rid of her. Um, I counter out of the attack with a Godatsu. Which the Godatsu doesn't look bad now with that Brook. I think the Brook's a three. And, it, well, now it does, because <laughs> he drops another Sabo and uh, puts all his characters under protection next turn. So I can't KO them with effects. So um, anything that KOs anything in my deck is like not, it just doesn't work right now. Which puts me in a spot. He's at three life, I'm at one. I got a heal. Um, so it looks like a swing five off the rip. And he go, goes with the blocker Sabo. And then I just play the new 10 drop ace, um, mainly for the heal, and just to get another swing off. So we go ahead and just get rid of the Sabo. He's now full power, um, pretty full board. He's got a lot of swings, and I have two life, which with the Nell, you know, we do a Nell things. We have triggers and whatnot. He plays a Tempest Kick, bringing the ace down, and drawing. Uses the stage. Brings me down even further. <laughs> I have a lot in hand, though. It's like eight or nine. Take a life, no trigger. I think I was getting a lot of like counters though, somewhat. He's got a lot of cards in grave, a lot. Place four for Rebecca, activating her effect. She gets one from Grave and can summon one, I believe. And then he 
sends cards to the bottom and then does something. I think it summons one, summons a rank four maybe. Hold on, let me see. It's the four. Okay, plays rested. So he's gonna send two from the grave to the deck and nag ace a little bit more. It looks like a lot more. It looks like he's <laughs> the ace is up one. Swing big with Brooke. Oh. Uh, yeah, and then the Brooke gets rid of the ace. I counter out with the zero cost and a flampe. I'm looking at that board. I know he's got one blocker up. He's still at three life though. It's just very hard to get it going. So I drop a rocket Luffy. And I get rid of the brook. And see, this is where around the time that I wish I ran a little bit more of like the rush variant of Anel, just to have extra swings. Um, Cause right there, you know, I had to do something. So I dropped the blocker Shirahoshi, which is really good against Luchi, but it's just not enough in this situation. And yeah, I think this is the turn where he, yeah, he, he definitely gets me this turn. I do have a lot in hand, so we'll see what happens. Six in hand. Swings, I think I, I counter out. Maybe not. Okay, so I kind of remember my hand now. I think it was a Yamato double Katakuri and one of the Katakuris, which I uh, just discarded. Maybe a Raigu, a Flampe, and something else. I don't remember. Probably another Frankie. Five Dawn left on his side. I used the zero cost in the Raigu. Swing six. I don't know if I had any more counter. Yeah, I had to use blocker Shirahoshi. Drops five. For another Rebecca. Rebecca will do Rebecca things.
Your bottom decks those. Pulls out a Rob Luch. Cool guy, Rob Lucci. It's a good card, man. All right, so I think I just dropped maybe a boss monster here, and then um, probably just have to pass. We'll see. I could. I. I don't know what I did right here. I could have Raigood. Maybe I played at least one this game. Setting aside four, so possibly. You can hear the hurt in my soul knowing that I'm about to lose this game. And there might have could have been like other plays that I could have done. Who knows, but. Good thing that I have these videos, right? I get to go back and kind of see how I played. Maybe change it up for the next videos. But also give Kid his flowers, man. That's not an easy dude to beat. So I swing big at one of the monsters, just trying to clear board. I could have swung life, but it was just like giving him cards. Even though he had a big board, I was like, nah, we, let's just try to get rid of some swings. Maybe. So we get rid of one of the Re Rebecca's. And I think all I had was just Katakuri. Katakuri and I just put the Luchi back in the life. I knew it was over already. Casino now, that's what I said. <laughs> I put myself in a situation. So we'll see where we get. He's going to just test the water with uh, what he's got on board, I believe. And this is also where I make one of the most funniest mistakes of my life. And we're, and we're all going to see it. it was, it's actually really funny. Because this is the second time kids uh, done this to me. So he checks out the grave to see all the 2Ks that I haven't used. Everything. He's, he's doing great moves. He's going to knock down the Katakuri just a bit with that stage. I got like three cards in hand, so absolutely no way, right? Let's just see. Swing six. We take. We kill one of his swings with the rocket Luffy. Okay, good. That's really good. I get rid of a 1k to, to heal, which I don't know what I had in hand. I, I, I don't really know. He says it changes things. So he's like, okay, we're going to see what's up. And so I'm not even, I'm thinking I'm good. <laughs> I remember saying, I'm sipping my Gatorade. I'm like, I'm good, dude. I'm good. Because he's just going to get rid of the cat. He's going to use all that Dawn to get rid of the Katakuri. So he's just going to swing regular. Swinging six. I got two in hand. So I take the life. It's a beige, dude. 
It is a beige. I, I attempt to activate it, but it's I'm like, it's Rebecca. You don't beige a Rebecca. You don't beige a Rebecca. He puts all Don on Rebecca and swings. Oh my God. And he's done this to me before. And he said, you don't think uh, he would swing with her? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. I don't know why I didn't. I, I I don't know. He said he had all the answers to getting ready to Cali Curry or whatever. But geez, so funny. So funny. Why didn't I beige the Rebecca? I will always, I'll beige everything from now on. Mm, rookie mistake. Bad move. But hey, I had fun. It's always a pleasure. It's always a good time. And shout out to the locals, man. It's so it's so good. We're growing, and it's such a good time. And I hope to play Kid again real soon. Peace out, y'all.